night in two parts. Yeah. One, depression. The bed creaks like your spine. The frame is not as twisted, but it calls to the plants you let die out of mercy. You're glad they can't see you like this. You keep the room dark so you can't see you like this. You have not been hungry or thirsty for days. You feed the cats. They chew loud. You pick up the phone and listen to the dial tone for a full minute before hanging up. This is what cowardice sounds like. You never liked neon signs. Sodium lamps and flashlights are better company. The sky looks like a shell of useless history bursting at the wealth of the moon. Your body isn't any prettier right now. You choke as you are forced fed the night. You haven't been hungry for it in a long time. You are an unwilling glutton, weak enough to violate something holy as your own throat. Two, hypomania. The stars are just bits of your teeth shattered to pieces because you bit down on the night too hard. But there is no bacane in your lover's mouth, so you draw it out with yours. You can't see the stars anyway through the thick black clouds of a thunderstorm. It is the only thing louder than you for miles, and you move like the rain, sideways. Your lover falls asleep, and you are unable. So you look inside yourself for company, and you find nothing. You feel strangely sad for a moment, before realizing that the beauty of being empty is that there is room in you for everything. So you go out into the night, out into the storm. Every lightning strike could simply be the minute space between two of your neurons. Euphoria is straddled across the stratosphere, hallelujah, graceful. You are so alive you do not realize you draw breath. The wind's only purpose is to push you towards glory, and there is nothing but this night. There has never been anything but this night. You are whole in every way, and you do not need the light because it's you. It's always been you.